Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We are once again in Stormworks working on our sand crawler land ship kind of mobile base thing, whatever you guys want to call it. I still haven't named it yet, so if you guys have any names for that, definitely let me know. But uh, yeah, in this one, we are just going to be detailing it about kind of similar to like last episode where um, I'm just going to kind of go all over the ship and add details here or there to uh, kind of get it a little bit more to what we like and, and whatnot. But yeah, if you guys are liking this series so far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I, this series is definitely not going to go away. It's a little bit of a slower one for you. I know a lot of you want me to talk a little bit more. So that's kind of the point of this series. Well, we got the carrier build going on in the background too. But yeah, in this one, I am going to just kind of be detailing. I'm going to be fixing out these little cutouts. I didn't really like these cutouts from last episode. Um, I think I mentioned that they were just a little too low. That's kind of the main issue is when we're in the water, they're going to be too low. They're just going to be submerged. So it didn't really make sense for that to be a balcony. But yeah, um, you know, I'm going to, for the meantime, I'm going to quit jibber jabbering and we'll talk a little bit more after um, I've got a little bit more work done in this video. All right, guys.
All right, so we got quite a good amount of paint work done, as you guys just saw. I, uh, I painted the inside of the wheel wells and kind of the bottom of the hole red. I'm going to add a little bit of wear and tear, some scratches here. Um, this will obviously look a little bit better later. I'm just trying to add a little bit of texture for now. And then um, I might as well talk about it a little uh, just because, again, I know a lot of you are a little concerned about this. So the, um, the door on the bottom there, guys, is going to lift down and a lot of you are concerned about the height so that's going to act um not only as a lift for vehicles but it's also going to be able to kind of act as like air jacks for uh the mobile base itself so i'm going to add a few arms in the back and that's going to be able to go down further than the uh ship is above the ground so you're going to be able to technically carry vehicles inside of the land cruiser that are taller than the land cruiser is above the ground so I know a lot of you are concerned about that. Don't worry about it, guys. I uh, I definitely um, test all that kind of stuff out. Check it out. I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, you do have enough room. And then what you saw me doing just there was I added weight in the center. Um, but I'm more so I was trying to, um, one, stress test the engine. But two, I'm thinking of putting space there for a standard cargo container. So you can carry one on the inside if you want. And that was kind of what that was about. But um Still floats fine. The center mass looks all right. I wanted to make sure that it was uh, kind of floating evenly. New update kind of broke Stormworks a little. So the, the door you can open while it's floating because the moon pools won't let air in. But, um, but yeah, guys, so just so you know, later on, um, like in next episode, we're going to be working a little bit more on like the uh, the technical parts of this creation so um in this one i'm going to start kind of building a helipad towards the rear of the ship here um and that's if i'm being honest going to get removed later on i thought it looked nice originally um but originally i also didn't plan on having trailers for this thing so um, a better place to land a helicopter was kind of necessary later on i decided i didn't really like it so um the rest of this the whole shape will kind of stay and then instead of a helipad we kind of just turn this into like a larger usable deck and i add some cranes onto the side of the land crawler and besides i mean with the helicopter thing you can always land it on the roof of this uh the thing is definitely plenty large enough to land helicopter right on the roof so that's kind of the other reason i decided to go away with the heli helipad in the rear here so I kind of opted to do more storage. So like I said, you're going to have a giant crane overhead. You're going to be able to load cargo containers up here. And then with the trailer, you'll be able to carry a lot more cargo containers. So that was the general thought with this. And I'm just trying to, I guess, make it look okay. Um, this is really kind of a strange build. I don't have a lot of experience building anything like this. So I, uh, I had to play, with, play around with it quite a bit to make it look good. And right here, I'm adding that helipad that I had talked about and... You know, I don't think it looked horrible, but I think the the thing that we change it to looks ultimately a lot better than this did, so.
So we have the landing platform kind of placed where it temporarily will stay, I guess. Um, one of the other really big flaws I saw with the, the helipad that I had here was it's just not tall enough to really practically use this deck back here. So most of it's just going to be kind of like a walking space to get onto the helipad, and I didn't want that. I wanted it to be a lot more useful. So um, that's what uh, another kind of part of the reasoning that this gets changed, but um, enough of that. You guys know that this is going to change. So um, beyond this, I'm going to start adding these little, uh, th you see the cutouts on the deck. I'm going to start detailing those, and these are also probably going to get some cranes, to be honest. Um, probably a good place to uh, load cargo on and off, like smaller cargo, obviously, you know, like the little boxes and stuff you can pick up. But um, yeah, I'll probably end up putting a crane over here too, just so um, for ease of use. But we'll get into that a little bit later. I just thought that this little uh, section kind of reminds me a lot of a boat and I, I like the feeling that it gave to the uh, land ship. It makes it seem a lot more industrial. Um, so that's kind of why that's there. I just wanted to add a little bit of detailing on the side and some more deck space. I think that that really tall deck space with a crane it will look nice in the end. And then finally, I'm going to come back here and we're going to smooth this off a little bit. So it's not just a, um, you know, just a hard line where the body of the ship stops. So we're going to smooth that out a little bit. And I think that that ends up looking a lot better too. So let me de definitely let me know, you know, what you guys think and are thinking of this ship so far um again i haven't named it or anything like that too so if you have any suge suggestions definitely let me know down in the comments section below but yeah i uh, i think that we are kind of starting to get this to a place where i'm i'm starting to get happier with it um like i said i struggled quite a bit in the beginning just because of how strange of a build this is but again, I think I think in the end it, it starts to look very nice, and I just decided to come back here and change these back to one by fours instead of one by threes. I think the uh, the longer angle looks a little bit better. So, but yeah, that's um, about most of the work that we are gonna do in this episode, guys. So I'm just gonna come back and kind of smooth these off, make it look a lot better. Um, but for the most part, we uh, aren't really gonna add too much more in this video. So, um, you know, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions in the future, let me know. I This ship's kind of just like a giant mystery to me. I don't really know what to do with it, what to put in it, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys have any features or um, suggestions, I'm definitely open to hearing those. I would love to hear them. And, you know, for those of you who are new around here, um, you know, if you want to be more involved, definitely don't forget to hit the, or don't forget to check out our Discord below. It's a great place to kind of make, uh, meet some people, make some friends. And then uh, you can also keep up to date with the channel and whatnot. But, but yeah, guys, that is just about it for this one. I'm just kind of wrapping up some railings before we go. So if you made it to the very end of this video, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Um, and for those of you who are new, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you like the video, definitely come back. I'm going to keep posting these until it's done and I get it on the workshop, just like the carrier videos. Those won't go anywhere. I know the tutorials have been a little behind, guys. Um, I'm kind of working through those. Those are starting to get more complex, but um, there's no set real schedule with those either. But yeah, if you made it this far, again, thank you so much. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.